Welcome back to the world's worst Dark Souls playthrough, everyone. Confusing the masses one boss battle at a time. Anyway, in case you're new or lost, this is my ongoing mini series where I play Souls like games in ways that require me to use as little brain power as possible. To the joy of many and the chagrin of a select few. Dark Souls may be a hard game, but luckily I've got the power of cheese and anime on my side, so we've been making quick work of it. Now, since the last video, I did get a couple of things done. I went on an adventure to gather enough Titanite chunks to max out the halberd, and while I was doing that, I took a quick trip down to Blight Town, which is is always a fun time, and I picked up the power within pyromancy. Now, I'm kind of winging this playthrough to be honest, so I don't know the exact numbers here, but I'm pretty sure this buffs your damage by like 40% or something. After that, I went up to the Undead Asylum and took out the Stray Demon for his Titanite Slab, and now for our trouble, we have a plus five Lightning Halberd. Anyway, the goal for today is pretty much to finish out the base game. No, I won't be doing the DLC today, mostly because the Manus Cheese is a pain in the butt, and I don't really feel like doing it. And before we get going here, as always, make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. That's enough rambling, let's finish this up. Anyway, since we're already down here, I guess we'll go deal with Sif first. Also, I just realized I never actually placed the Lord Vessel. I hope that's not a problem. Because then other than her, I'm pretty sure we can just do the Four Kings, Seath, Beta Chaos, and then Grave Lord Nito, and who the fuck is invading me? This is a PS4 client of Dark Souls Remastered. Who the fuck is still doing PvP? All right, can this nerd hurry the fuck up so we can get this over with? Like, where is this guy? Oh my God, and I'm getting ganked by golems and shit, dude, like. Leave me alone. All right, fuck it. I'm just making tracks. I don't even care. I can run laps around Lordran all day long if he wants. Although it does suck that I can't quit out because I kind of need this Hydra to de-aggro me if I want to hit up this fucking ladder over here. All right, do not shoot me off of the ladder, please. I've had this incident occur before. I think we're good. Oh yeah, in case anybody was unaware, this is how you skip the uh, Crest of Artorias door, by the way. What the fuck? Right, now I can't leave because of this fucking nerd. Are you serious? Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Watch this. Oh fuck, I, I didn't... I, okay, I didn't realize that wasn't gonna work. I thought you could like kick. What is this guy doing? Like, can you... How are you, uh... Uh, what are you... Oh, he's trying to pyromancy me, I see. Okay. I, what the fuck is happening? I'm so... <laughs> what is this guy's problem? All right, we'll taunt him a little bit. Can I, can I leave, man? Can you just like... Oh, he actually left. What a nice guy. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Syphilius, or whatever the hell your name was. If commends were still a thing in this game, I would commend you for that. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, this is how you skip the uh, Crest of Artorias door. The one where you have to buy the thing for like 20,000 souls or whatever it is. I think you can access the entirety of the area, but I'm not 110% sure about that. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna just power within real quick, and then we'll go. All right, come on, Sif, let's do this. Hurry up, my HP's running out. I'll actually, I'll, I'll drink before uh, we start the fight. There we go. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm actually interested. I haven't really DPS checked this weapon very much. Hello, Sif. I apologize for once again having to kick your ass. You are adorable, but you know how these things go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, you know what? It was funny for one second. That's pretty good damage. Dodge. Smack. In. Just start hitting her. Keep it popping. Does Sif stagger, I wonder? Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on, Sif. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. Did that just happen? Good Lord, this video is off to an incredible start. And now, of course, I have to run all the way back. Oh, whatever. Try again. All right, can you uh, cooperate with me this time here? Apparently not. Oh, my God. Smack. Smack. I miss. All right, Sif's running away. This is fine. And what? What are you doing? Stop. Okay, whatever. Just keep in her. Two hits, hit the leg, keep it popping, in, hit, hit, I, how the, where are you going, Sif? Get over here, come here, in, in, smack the leg, can you stop with the little, like, fucking jump back shit? At least she's not limping yet, that's always sad to see, oh god, wait, I might be limping soon, stop, okay, come here, oh, I missed, alright, we're backing, we're gonna drink, we are not fucking this up twice, alright, smack, there we go, you're done. Thank God. I'm not gonna do the taunt because Sif is actually cute. And I feel bad for having to kill the dog. Listen, I'm sorry. I needed the ring. It had to be done, okay? Anyway, I'm trying to figure out where I even want to go now. Uh, I guess we just homeward bone out. I don't think we need anything else from over there. All right, we'll continue leveling endurance. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this at the intro. I switched from using the giant's armor to using the gloves and the pants because I can still fast roll if I'm wearing both of those, but it actually ends up being more armor and poise at the end of the day. And uh, since we went out of our 
way to get the Covenant of Artorias. I guess we might as well go do the Four Kings real quick. This boss shouldn't be too bad. The Four Kings are actually really easy if you have a weapon with reasonable damage, which we definitely do. Basically, all you have to do against them is throw on a full set of Havel or Giant's Armor, whichever you prefer. Don't even care about fat rolling because, like, you're not going to be rolling at all and just run at them and hit them incessantly. I realize that description probably made zero sense. I'll explain what I mean when we get there. Anyway, this is actually the part of the game where I kind of start to forget what I'm doing here a little bit. I have to drain the water out of New Londo, but I kind of forget how to get there. I think, is it this way? And then, oh god. No, it's this way. Ow. Dude, can you fuck faces stop it? Yeah, and that's like in here. Up the stairs, off to the side, down the back. Yeah, I think it's back here. Oh, fuck! Dude, whatever, I forgot I had to jump there. You know what, honestly, I'm actually gonna stay hollow for this because like I said, I kind of forget where I'm going down there. I don't want to just start wasting humanity here. All right, I will not forget this time. I have to go over here and I have to kind of like, yeah, there we go. And then this, ow, is not where I wanted to be. Oh, fuck. Right, you guys gotta stop, please. Wait, where the fuck, is it over here? Wait, I remember now. I have to talk to the guy on top of the fucking building first, don't I? Yeah, that's what I have to do. God damn it. All right, hold on, this way, right? Yeah, ladder's right here, and then we go. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, I'm... You little shitbag. Oh, this is why we can't have nice things. All right, go, 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 go. Run away. Fuck off. Stop with the... Okay, I think we're good. We're fine. Do they follow me up here? No, I don't think so. Hello, sir. Give me the key, please. Thank you. Okay, I think we're good. I guess we'll just do the jump again, then? That's probably fine. Jump! Okay, no problem. Now remember, I want to go up and then off to the left. Yeah, because then I can go down here, all the way down here, open the key to the seal, and drain the ruins. Holy shit, that was more work than it needed to be. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm trying to remember how exactly I get... Can you leave me the fuck alone, lady? Please, st stop. What is your fucking problem? Out here following me around like a jealous ex or something. Good lord. Anyway, I think it's like this way and then back here somewhere past the fucking death knights or whatever. I, I have no fucking idea where I'm going. Oh my lord. Is it this way? I think it is this way, actually. I think it's past... Oh. Okay, apparently you can just do that. That's fine. There we go. All right, finally. Made it to the boss arena. Jesus. I need to go over here. Oh, you can just come in here? I didn't know that. Oh, fuck, man. Leave me alone. So the first thing I need to do is we got to replace Havel's ring with the Covenant of Artorias. Normally, I'd want to take off the Favor and Protection ring, but this thing breaks if you take it off, so we're kind of stuck with it. And then the other thing I'm going to do is throw on the rest of the giant set. Also, I only have four Estus left. That's not optimal. Well, anyway, I think we're good. Now I can show off my uh, strategy here. I have no idea how that didn't just kill me. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Power within. Where's the first one? There he is. Okay, so the thing with the Four Kings boss is this boss is essentially a DPS check in that you're kind of trying to kill these guys before a million of them spawn in. So that's the whole point of the giant's armor set here is as you can see there, I literally just tanked all his attacks, didn't even try to dodge. You just want to get out as much DPS as possible. Now, can the other guy spawn in here? I have one Estus left and I'm losing health quickly. There we go. Please stay away. Okay. One, two, three. Just keep hitting them. There we go. Okay. Next. I'm actually, I'm going to top off while the next guy's spawning in. Uh, if all else fails, I do have humanity. I'm actually going to equip a humanity now to... Ow, I have no idea what that was. Where's the next guy? Hello? Dude, I'm losing health here, man. Can we... There we go. Okay, found him. I'm gonna have to burn a fucking humanity for this shit. Stop it. Fuck you. Come here. Off my ass. Yeah, look at that damage. Uh. Okay, I need one more. I'm gonna have to burn another humanity here, but it's kind of okay. I'll actually just do it now. Oh, fuck, my spell's gone. Dude, where are these guys? Well, I mean, I guess I'm not really in a rush anymore, considering. I mean, we basically got him at the end. This is fine. Come here. Fuck off. Oh, I missed? Oh. Why did I moan like that? Wow, that's really all the damage that does? I kind of thought that'd be worse. Whatever. <gasps> Sit down. Goodbye. Easy peasy. No problems. Bequeath Lord Soul Shard? Hell yeah. Hey, look, it's uh, this guy. Do I want to do the Lord of Darkness ending? What are we thinking? I mean, I guess it couldn't hurt. Why not? Yeah, let's do the Lord of Darkness ending. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Koth. Sure. We'll uh, we'll do the weird ending. Actually, I think this is technically the good ending, isn't it? Because linking the fire is like a bad thing to do, in theory. So I guess this is the good ending? And again, maybe it's not the good ending because there's two sequels to this, so somebody's got to link the fire, I suppose. All right, Lord Vessel placed, and uh, actually, let me fix my build here real quick before I fucking forget. And uh, while I'm here, I'm actually gonna turn human again, too. Wait, I lost a humanity somewhere. Because I used two in that last fight. Where'd the other one go? What the fuck? That's so weird. I wonder if the, uh, maybe that king guy stole it when he grabbed me. 
No, 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 don't take me back to the abyss. I'm gonna die. Oh, you son of a bitch. Why would you do this? All right, bonfire, quickly. Okay. I took the ring off. That's not fair, bro. Or wait, maybe it's okay. Maybe they like, I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, don't you have something to say to me? You could not be the chosen one. Ah, shut up. Who cares? Anyway, now that we're over here, I guess we'll go do Grave Lord Nito next. Moving right along. And uh, this should be a familiar path because this is actually where we went to go get the Grave Lord Sword. Uh, Nito isn't all that far past that, I don't think. Another convenience of the Grave Lord Sword run is we already opened up the door and everything. All right, go here, jump. Jump. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Wait, the fuck? I feel like they did more damage than... Oh, well, whatever. Uh, where do I jump down here? I think it's this, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. There's a summon for Pinwheel. Should I summon this guy for Pinwheel? I kind of want... I think I will. Paladin Leroy. Let's go. Me and my buddy. What up, Leroy? Let's go get him. Tag team the easiest boss in the game. Oh my god, hell. Not the bone wheel. Actually, I wonder if Leroy's gonna make it. Oh no, he made it. He only took a little bit of damage too. That's good. All right. Buff up. And away we go. Oh, I can't skip this. Oh no, I can skip this. That was weird. Like, wasn't letting me skip the cutscene for some reason. Come here. Holy damage. Uh, sorry, Leroy. I finished the job already, it would appear. Jesus Christ. I remembered Pinwheel was weak, but I didn't think he was that weak. Oh, and I got the Mask of the Mother for my trouble. God damn it. Mother Mask would have actually been kind of useful on this run. Uh, anyway, moving right along. Now in the Tomb of the Giants, and this part sucks. Where do I get the lantern from? Actually, I think you get the lantern after patches, so I'm just gonna have to fucking guess where I'm going here. Yeah, this way. Hello. Goodbye. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Where the fuck is the bonfire, bro? Oh my heaven. Oh, hey, look, there's pat. No, you son of a bitch! I rolled into the patches cutscene. God, fuck you. The game is fucking stupid, actually. At least I got the lantern now, though, so I can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. So there's her. I'm just gonna ignore her and her side quest. These two fucking idiots can leave me alone. Dude, no, can- No, no- Oh my god, I'm gonna die, actually. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Dude, fuck you, Patches. I didn't even mean to do that. I was gonna fucking kill him. I just, like, forgot where I was for a second. Oh, now I have to do all that again, bro. Now, the thing is, I feel like the bonfire down here is supposed to be before Patches, actually. I just walked past it somehow. Oh, yeah, it is. It's right here. Oh my god. See, if I hadn't rolled into that fucking cutscene, it would have been fine. Whatever, dude. All right, come here, Patches, you stupid fuck. Oh, I didn't even get to kill him. Well, whatever. Moving right along. Ow. Can you not, sir? Thank you. Dude, can y'all leave me alone here for a minute? Okay, we survived. Thank God. Can't say I'm gonna complain about that. Okay, so now we end up in here. We're in the room with all the mini pinwheels. Run it on through. Well, it'd be nice if I could remember how to actually get where I'm trying to go, but we'll figure it out. Oh my God. Oh, it's right here. All right, through the mist. So we'll drink once, swap over to my pyromancy, get that going, swap back to the shield. Now this might take me a couple attempts. Uh, for one thing, I have no flasks left. And also I'm interested to see what my damage is looking like here. Dodge. Okay, we're good. Hello, Nito. Oh my, please. Oh dear, that's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, okay, we got problems. Situation. Okay, he blew up. He killed all his boys. I'm gonna eat the humanity. Oh, Jesus, I'm toxic. Uh, okay, this is not gonna work. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I need a blessed weapon. Fuck, dude. I didn't want to have to do it this way. All right, fuck it. Give me out. Uh, I may need to reassess the strategy here a little bit. All right, honestly, I think here's the strat. I think I can warp down here, so let's actually go back to Firelink. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse hollowing, and then I'm gonna kindle this bonfire twice. So now this gives me 20 Estus, and then we'll go back to the Tomb of the Giants. And in all honesty, I think the plan here is exactly what we did with the Four Kings. I'm just gonna... Oh, I forgot I never killed you, did I? Oh, whatever. Come here, hurry up. Sit down. What did I ever? You shoved me in a hole. Suck my dick. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, like I was kind of saying, I think we're gonna... Oh, there's Paladin Leroy. Yeah, I think the plan is to just tank the world, pretty much, and hope for the best. I feel like if I wear the full giant's armor and then, I don't know, maybe even throw on a random helmet or something, hopefully that'll be enough reduction to get away with this. I gotta be honest, I really don't feel like going and getting a blessed weapon to max level, or even a high enough level to actually, like, deal with the skeletons and stuff. Because, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, if you go into Nito's fight, the skeletons respawn if they die, but they don't if you kill them with a blessed weapon. I just roll our way on up here, throw my uh, giant armor back on, and that's eh, probably fine. Power within, and now we go. Come to me, Mr. Nito Man. I'm actually gonna stand over here because I think the big skeletons don't spawn if I stay here. Oh, I one shot them. Oh, this is easy. I was thinking I actually had to try. Come here, Nito. Come, come, come. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here and tank the world. He can't even hit me. Look at this. 
Oh, look at that damage. Hell yeah. Okay, shit. I gotta back off, actually. Oh, God. Hold on. Drink. Hey, okay, keep it popping. He's gonna explode. We'll dodge that, actually, and then we'll just go hit him. Just keep the damage popping. Hell yeah. Look at this. Uh. Ignore the skeletons. Keep it going. If this isn't cheese, I don't know what fucking is. Look at this. He can't even hit me. Too easy. Oh, entirely too fucking easy. Hit him with the taunt. What is it, Nito? Wasn't even a challenge. If this were Black Myth Wukong, I'd make a joke about sucking my giant pole. All right, so now I can get out of here. What do I want to do next? I guess we can do a uh, Seath next. As you level up here a little bit. I am actually curious. How much endurance do I need in order to wear the giant set without fat rolling? Uh, what am I at right now? 28 out of 150. You need to be below 25%. Oh yeah, so I'm not even close. Well, whatever, it's fine. The tank, the world strat shall have to wait. Anyway, now comes the tricky part of the run. Not that it has hasn't been tricky to this point, but there is a skip you can do to miss like most of the Duke's archives, but the problem is it's really hard and I'm also really bad at it. So, you know, just the worst combination of possibilities. Hello, bull creature. Please don't fuck me. Okay, we're good. Fuck off, bro. Are you being... Oh my god, whatever. Also, I didn't get that bonfire, so if I die here, this is gonna really suck. Oh my... I got headshotted. Are you serious? Yeah, speaking of fucking dying here. Okay, up we go, and now I gotta figure out this skip. It's like, the way this skip works is you, like, jump yourself onto the ledge here, and then you jump off onto there. I really don't feel like doing this the right way, dude. So can we just not have to? I failed. All right, that sucked. Hang on, this may take a couple attempts. No! No! Ugh. I almost had it too, man. Come on. Oh my god, it put me all the way back here. Alright, come on. This one's for all the marbles. I definitely fucked that one up. Oh, no, never mind. We got it. Hold on. Okay, that goes past. Roll. Oh, you son of a bitch. I almost had it. I rolled too far to the left. Come on, I got this. Over here. Run off the edge. I completely missed it somehow that time. Okay, good. <gasps> oh my god, I think I did it! Holy shit, I did do it! Wow, that did not take nearly as long as I was expecting it to. Oh, now that that debacle's out of the way, moving right along. Grab the bonfire here real quick in case of any more shenanigans, although I will reverse my hollowing. Might as well get to gaze upon Giga Cheese's majestic face. Whole point of this character, after all. And now for the tricky part. Most of the time I'm pretty good with this, but every so often it likes to give me trouble. Once again, kind of forgetting where it is I'm supposed to go. Yeah, and then over here, here, and then take the invisible walkway to here. Ignore the golden man. Run this way. Uh, this way, I think, right? Oh, wait, hold on. I might have fucked up. He just jumped to his death. Ah! What even just happened there? Dude, I didn't even do anything. My character just slipped and fell on his own. The fuck was that? Oh my god, this area sucks too, man. This and Sen's Fortress. Like, I could honestly do without both of these. I mean, I guess Lost Isolith is worse than both of them, but you can skip Lost Isolith, so it doesn't really count. Cross the bridge. I gotta go get my fucking souls back. So I think I actually went too far. I don't think... Oh, right, I forgot. I can actually walk on this. And then got this convenient line of messages and bloodstains telling me where to go. Thanks, guys. I truly appreciate the souls community. Anyway, now there is is a bonfire back here somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure how to get to it. So I think I'll just go fight seat. All right, run. Oh wait, shit, it spawned me over here. Hold on. Hit the thingy. There we go. Okay, seat's not happy about that. Why are the fucking clam things in here? Okay, I need to get around to your ass, sir. Thank you. No, 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 no. No clam shenanigans either. None of this crap. All right, come here. Excuse me? I thought you were supposed to be- I thought you were supposed to be weak to lightning. The hell is this crap? It would also be really nice if I wasn't getting chased by fucking clam creatures up in here. What is happening? I'm so- Dude, I can't even see. All right, well, at least the clams are dead now. This is good. Fine, you want me to hit you in the front? I'll hit you in the fucking front. Jesus. Oh, wow, look at that damage. Hell yeah. Keep it popping. Oh, Jesus, here this comes. Run! I cannot believe that didn't kill me. That's incredible. Come here. Spank him. Keep hitting them, I don't even care. Tank the curse. Fuck it, tank the curse. Too easy. There you go, get styled on. Sit down, seat the scaleless. Biggest bitch of a dragon there ever was. Ugh, all right, three Lord Souls down, one to go. Turn human again real quick here, although I don't think I actually kind of need to do that. Back to, uh, 
fire link, I guess. Now, under normal circumstances, we'd be about to reach the worst part of the game. That being Lost Island. Now, that being said, there is a way to skip the area entirely, and it's not a glitch. It's not even really like a normal skip like the one I did for the Duke's archives. It is an actual part of the game that you can just get past it. I guess the devs knew how shitty it was and decided to give us an out. But unfortunately, it does come with a caveat that I'll explain in a sec. First things first, though, we gotta go back to uh, Blight Town. Actually, now that I think about it, if I do the skip, do I even have to fight Ceaseless Discharge? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Just making our way back on down. We gotta get to the uh, bonfire next to that spider in the wall. Like, I don't know if I really described what it was uh, in the last video, but we did go get it. Although the obvious pain in the ass here being that I gotta, you know, traverse this part of Blight Town again. But just think, guys, this used to be way worse. Like I said in the last video, Blight Town, in the original Dark Souls 1 anyway, used to run at about 12 frames per second. So if nothing else, at least we can actually see some Dark Souls gameplay here instead of watching a PowerPoint presentation. All right, just hop it on down here, go in the room, and we'll pop a squat. And now comes the part of the playthrough where I'm gonna have to make a bit of a confession. See, when I do these playthroughs up front, I always preface that I'm going to play these games using things that are available to you as a player. I'm not gonna use any cheats or glitches or exploits. Little jumps or skips like the Duke's Archive skip we just did or Anne Orlando from the last episode are totally fine, but I try to steer away from doing anything like glitching out of the map or crazy exploits of the game's bugginess like that. However, in this case, for the sake of not taking a million years on this video, I'm going to make an exception. See, in order to do this Lost Isla skip I've been talking about, and some of you probably already know what I mean, as you can see there, I can offer this individual humanity. By offering her humanity, I level up the covenant that she's a part of. And when you get to covenant level two, you can just skip all of Lost Isla. Now, here's the problem with that. In order to get to covenant level two, you have to offer her 30 humanity. As you can see here, we do not have 30 humanity. We have about 20. Now I could, if I felt like it, get 10 more humanity. That's actually a lot less than I thought I needed. I hadn't really checked. You know, I could eat a firekeeper's soul, or I could go out in the world and farm a bunch of rats for humanity, or I could just pick up 10 more regular humanity that are lying around the world. There's plenty left in the game. But in the interest of not fucking doing that, I'm just gonna use an item dupe glitch here. Now to clarify, this is not a cheat. I'm not hacking the game or anything like that. This is a glitch that anybody can do in this game. It's actually really easy, to be honest. But like I said, when it comes to these playthroughs, I try to steer away from this sort of thing. I'm literally only doing this for the sake of time. Like, I wouldn't do this for souls to get way overleveled or anything like that. I just don't feel like spending two hours farming humanity. Okay, got the menu glitch going. Okay, we'll go down to quit game. And these are twin humanities, so I want to use, what, 15, I guess? And there we go, we got 30 humanity. How about them apples? I mean, let's be honest, this isn't supposed to be a hardcore playthrough or anything like that. Oh, actually, Actually, you know what? I do have to kill Ceaseless Discharge. I'm such a fucking idiot, man. For some reason, I thought that this was the secret door. That's not the secret door. Oh, the secret door's down by the fucking Fire Sage Demon. I literally forget this every time I play this game. Like, what is wrong with my brain sometimes, actually? I mean, whatever. It's fine. Cheesing Ceaseless Discharge is easy. All right, and here we are. And uh, hopefully this doesn't fuck me. A lot of the time, I'll actually do this early because you can kill Ceaseless Discharge without even hitting him, really. But I actually have a really bad habit of fucking this up, so for this run, I just didn't want to bother. There. Sir, please cooperate. That is not cooper. Okay, maybe it is cooperating. Holy shit. That's incredible. This never goes this well. All right, simple enough. And now we just run all the way back to the entrance of the arena. And we wait for the big fella to jump to his death. Easy peasy. All right, come here, ceaseless discharge. Come, come, come. All right. So he comes here, and then we'll just spank the hand a little bit. Wow, you take a lot of damage. I might actually be able to kill him before he falls off. Oh, or never mind. And there he goes. Once again, entirely too easy. Yeah, that's actually not a bad way to get early souls if you're just starting your playthrough, but like I said, I fucked that up a lot, especially when I don't have, like, armor. So I kind of wanted to spare myself the embarrassment there, I guess. Where are all the... Oh, they're over there. I was about to say, where are all the Taurus demons? There's a Capra demon. Moving right along. Knight Kirk has invaded? What? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, now where's the shortcut again? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, it's like down here. Yeah, 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 I remember. Also, I wonder if uh, Kirk can even get down here. He might be stuck forever. All right, there's the uh, sunlight maggot. Or no, this isn't it. One of these is it. Somebody was saying in the comments of the last video that I should save Solaire. I will if I can, but oh, it's not even gonna let me go, huh? Well, great. Now I gotta just sit here until Kirk despawns, I guess. Yeah, I'll obviously save him just because, I mean, Solaire's a chill dude. I don't want him to die. But uh, as at the same time, I'm not gonna be summoning him for Gwyn, cause, I mean, simply put, I don't think it's necessary. Dude, look at that fucked face running through the whole goddamn level trying to come here and gank me. What a weirdo. By the way, yes, I know it's an NPC, it's still annoying. Come here, you little shit. On the floor. Goodbye.
Okay, now we can make actual progress. I'm trying to remember which of these is the actual sunlight maggot that corrupts Solaire. I don't even see it. Like, is it not one of these? I thought it was. Oh, one of them dropped something. All right, well, I got the item, so I'm assuming that means I did my job. I mean, like I said, it doesn't really matter. No, and I got a sunlight metal. That's interesting. I hope that doesn't mean that that one particular bug actually killed Solaire and I just missed it. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I'm mostly just saving him on principle. Ow. Because uh, I definitely won't be needing him for Gwyn, that's for sure. Anywho, now comes what might be the uh, best designed boss in this entire game. Good old Beta Chaos. How the fuck did that hit me? I don't even, you know what? I don't even care. Kirk again, get, no. Get out of my fucking world, I don't care. Do you mind? I, by all means, continue. Anyway, contrary to popular belief, there is a small way you can cheese this boss. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a complete pain in the ass, but it makes things at least somewhat more bearable. I'm trying to remember where the floor breaks, or doesn't it? Okay, maybe the floor only breaks on the second one. Ah, dude, no. Okay, part one down. Now, here comes the cheese. So instead of having to run all the way through this shitty fucking arena again, what we do is we quit out and it'll load us in outside the arena. Now, you might be wondering, doesn't that defeat the purpose of what I just did? Not so. Because for whatever reason, whether they wanted to be nice or, I don't know, maybe it was just an oversight, uh, Beta Chaos is the only boss in this game that saves your progress if you quit out in the middle. So like, as you can see, the thing on the left is already, like, dealt with. So now we just have to do the one on the right, which is easier said than done. Where the fuck am I trying to- I'm stuck, okay? Yeah, 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 that's great. All well and good. Running on- Oh, fuck me. Oh, and it managed to cheese me anyway. And now I'm back here. That's great, actually. Now I get to run all the way back. Oh, joy. I suppose this is karmic justice for being a little cheese lord, but what can you do? Honestly, part of me almost wants to kill Demon Fire Sage just so I can get a bonfire that's a little closer in the event that this happens again. All right, let's try that again. Now, again, same kind of deal. Even if you die against this boss, the uh, progress is saved, so I won't need to do that left part again. I just need to remember where the fucking floor falls in so I can actually... Oh, and the floor is already gone. That's actually helpful. Okay. I'm just gonna... Are you fucking... Dude. Oh my god, I have to run all the way back again. Ugh, oh, even in a fucking cheese playthrough, this is still the dumbest boss in the game. All right, one more attempt for the road. Please, no more shenanigans, Beta Chaos. I beg of you. Okay? Oh my fucking god, no. Lived through that somehow, that's good. I have absolutely no idea how I lived through that, but you know what? We're just not gonna question it right now. All right, hit the thing. Okay. So we're good on that front. Now, we'll do the same thing again. We quit out. Okay, drink the Estus just in case. Back in to finish the job. All right, so I need the ground to open up in front of the bed of chaos. It's not doing it. Please? Okay, never mind. I guess I'll just fucking die. Okay, there we go. Floor this is not a real video game. I am fairly certain I have died more here than I have to any boss in this entire run. By a long shot. I swear to God, if I die again and I have to do this fucking run back, I'm turning the game off. There will just be no upload tomorrow. That's just how it's gonna be. All right, let's finally bring this fucking thing home for the love of ass. At least it was nice enough to leave the fucking floor open for me. Thank you. No, no. Oh my God, I thought I missed. I was about to shit my pants. Come here, you little creature. Go fuck yourself, actually. Oh my fucking God, bet of chaos down. Good Lord, what a perfectly frustrating end to this journey. And now, oh shit. I just realized, how do I get to the uh, Lord Vessel? Do I have to, do I have to go to the Abyss? Normally, Framp takes you to it, right? I guess this guy does? Oh, okay, yeah, he just does it from down here. That's fine. All right, we have now reached the good old Lord Vessel and I should be able to offer all the Lord Souls to it, right? So yeah, we're good to go now. And finally, 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 we can bring this place through to a close. Now, Gwyn is a funny boss because he can alternate between being one of the easiest and one of the hardest final bosses in all of video games, depending entirely on how good you are at parrying. Now, uh, I personally feel pretty good about my parrying skills, so I 
think this will be okay. But yeah, it is kind of interesting. Like, if you didn't parry at all during your Dark Souls run, like, obviously assuming you haven't played the game before, and you never bothered to learn how, Gwyn is actually kind of a challenging boss, because he's extremely aggressive, hits like a truck, and anytime you try to heal from your flask, he, like, jumps at you. Oh, also, we'll find out if I, uh, properly saved Solaire or not here. That'll be nice. I don't know where his summon sign's supposed to be, though, is the only thing. Oh, wait, I'm not human. I can't even see it. What am I talking about? Actually, hold on. I kind of want to go back. One sec. Plus, it's the final boss. I might as well be human for it, right? All right, so we reverse our hollowing, and now, in theory, we should be able to see Solaire's summon sign, uh, if we did this correctly. All right, in our moment of truth, it would appear we fucked something up. Well, um, that's unfortunate. Anyway, Gwyn time. Get parried, bitch. Oh, wow, that's really not as good damage as I kind of thought it was going to be. Parried again. Hit him again. Now, I think there's a cheese where if I drink from the Estus Flask, he does the same attack every time. Oh, no, apparently I was wrong about that. Or maybe I was right about that. Wait. Because, okay, I thought there was a cheese where, like, if you drink from your Estus Flask, he does the same attack every single... Yeah, there you go. I don't know why he didn't do it the first time. For whatever reason, if you drink from your flask while he's getting up, he does the same attack each and every single time he gets up. And it basically makes this fight a joke. Just have to be, like, quick enough about it. Oh, no, there he went. Did something different that time for some reason. I don't really get it. There's that. At oh, that's a grab attack. Run away. Hold on. Oh. There we go. And goodbye, Gwen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you deal with a final boss. In style, of course. Ooh, and uh, that is the game. That is Dark Souls in a nutshell. Except, you know, not really played the way the game was intended, I'm sure. Anyway, obviously we have the choice here to uh, link the fire, but we already started on the Age of Dark ending. We might as well go with it, right? And with that, we have defeated the Lord of Cinder and started the Age of Dark two games too early. Holy shit, look how beefy I am. And there we go, that's the end of the game. Easy enough. Also, apparently I never did this ending on the PlayStation version. Interesting. And, uh, oh. Wait, what? Shucks you in a new game plus like that? What the fuck? God damn it, dude. I wanted to do my fucking outro. All right, hold on a second. Let me just get to Firelink Shrine real quick. And with that, we bring our cheesy adventure to a close. Honestly, I really am glad you guys seem to enjoy these videos so much. I always have a blast making them, even when I have to fight bullshit like the beta chaos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support on the last video and presumably this video also. And much like last time, for those of you fans of this little mini series we got going on here, don't worry. Giga Cheese will return. We have at least a few more games he's got to bulldoze his way through, and then I'm sure he'll have some more adventures after that. But all that aside, as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.